right, there we go. Actual lighting. Right. Sent it. You actually sent the email to Avon? Mm-hmm. All right, Devin can just grab the clip of this off. All right, I'm going to crank that up a bit. Too far. Better. Thank you, app. I look forward to your response. So, anyway. It's quite a cool green colour. I think mine is a bit sun-cooked, but it's okay. <coughs> Can you blow that shit the other direction? Thanks. Made by Fega, or Fega, F-E-G-A. And this is a civilian or civil defence version of the GM33, I think I already said that. Uh, fucking blow that in that direction again. It's a cigarette. It fucking stinks. Uh, this has got a three-point head harness, which is a mix of canvas-type straps with elastic. My elastic is still holding up very strongly. And a sort of neck strap, only this goes over the back of the head, hooks into this, where it then hooks onto this. Please don't put music in these. So there you go. And it would wrap around like that, over the back of your head. Which is why the straps there look a bit stressed. Uh, it's 40 millimeter DIN. Here is the nice asbestos filter, which is remarkably similar to some other filters of the time, called a shower head. As you can see there, it says Seville, which I can only assume is civilian. We've got the Swiss stamp here, the 108, I don't know what that is. And here we go January 1939. So. Quite good condition for it, and of course, Vega. And you can see inside the filter there, the mesh. Here's your uh, all your charcoal, and there's your particular, all your nice asbestos in there. All right, then we go back to it. Uh, 40 millimeter DIN, which means that it will actually <coughs> ignore him. <coughs> which means it will actually thread NATO filters. Uh, if I can get the angle right. There you go. With little resistance. Uh, which means you could logically use this in modern day. I don't know why you'd want to. It has no defogging system. Uh, I believe you could put inserts in it, but those are hard to find these days. Uh, I'm not certain on how the size system works, because the Swiss current size system, or not really the current, but the uh, SM67 and such, would use a series of rings, followed by a cross, and the cross is the largest, the plus sign. Um, Nathan will drop in the comments the sizes, because he learned them. Um, this one doesn't even have like a size, but the thing is, I'm a size 1 NATO, which is the largest it comes in, and even size 5 in 70M, which is the largest head size, because I'm a large person, and this fits me. And yes, the lenses are in it. Anyway, you can actually hear it. This is rattling a bit. Downward angled front thing, you got your washer in there. This appears to be made out of quite cheap metal, to be fair. What the fuck? There we got our date stamp, 1138, so 1938, and the filter is dated for 1939. What's that? Crimped on, not crimped on lenses, but what's it called? Official Hell's Kitchen has just posted that. Fuck off, it hasn't! Can I just... Official Hell's Kitchen. Official Kitchen Nightmares has just posted this. It gave the pigeon drip. Alright, so anyway. Back to the C Masque, which um, its predecessor was the B Masque. That is C. Actually, you'll see in the title. Fuck off, go what read. The fuck? Have you seen what they're naming videos now? Nope. Moments that make me shake my buns. Okay. Uh, it has Fager on both the lens rims, and we can see here it says Fager and actually has the oh, logo. Foolish straight bust him. I'm not even joking, look. Got the Fager logo, what's this? Look. When the food is straight bust him. Who the fuck is running there, PR? And I don't know what it is with the crossbow symbol, but it's quite cool. One of the thumbnails is Gordon Ramsay Gavin saying Gordon Ramsay is built differently. Now, this is the exhale valve, and I don't know if it works as a speech diaphragm. Don't quote me on it. And uh, let's have a look at the inside now, before we move on and go home. It's actually quite thin rubber that you can kind of see through it at some angles. No, I don't think it will show up on video. Um, anyway. 
Here's your inside. This is a metal assembly. It says 2354 there, 2355 there. You've got, what does that say? INCA or INCA. Probably can't read it. And INCA there again, INCA. Here's your exhale system. Oh, that, I think that is a voice diaphragm. Oh, no, sorry, that's the intake. Sorry, that's the intake. I got that wrong. Um, and I think that is actually a voice module system, which for 1938 is pretty Gucci. It doesn't have a peripheral seal, but it has this lip here, this edge. You can see here the straps are reinforced with fabric integrated into the rubber. And the metal parts here are moulded into the rubber too, so they don't come out. Now, this one doesn't have it, but you can see here I've got one in here. <coughs> that, we believe, is the rim of a lens insert. That's why I leave mine off. We believe that that is an insert clip for putting inserts in to resist fog, to create a pocket of warm air. Hold on, let me... Oh, fuck off. Anyway, uh, like I said, you can see it's got a sort of peripheral lip around there, but none on the chin and no chin rest. And like I said, this is, um, we think it's an insert. I've put an elastic band on it because it's sharp and it falls out. I don't want it falling out on my eyeball. So I've put it in there to keep it secure. There isn't one in that one, but that's what we believe it is. So that is the Swiss Sea Mask here. There wasn't much to talk about. It's a cool civilian mask. Uh, I'm going to thread on... Actually, no, I'm not going to thread on the filter. But I'm going to put it on because it's adjusted to my head size. Always remember, don't always wear World War II masks. Sometimes they might be sensitive or delicate. And especially don't wear them with the original filters because most filters do have asbestos in. Tommy, it's just started raining. Anyway... <coughs> While Tommy turns this into a ghost fucking film. <coughs> They're legit posting fucking memes. Hmm. <coughs> so, uh, you might be able to hear there there's a rattling and something moving about. Now that is the valve. That is your intake valve. Because it's a plastic disc, which means it's not 100% airtight compared to modern standards. When you suck in, some air might escape through. And I believe that you can hear now that's what they might be calling the glitter valve, but I'm not 100% certain on that. While the mask is plenty loud for a civilian mask and civilian de or civil defence, and uh, we believe industrial use at times. Um, yeah, I did have industrial use, if I remember correctly. Just lift this thing to say I think it had industrial use in case I didn't come through on cam. What the fuck? With no anti fog, I can't read Tommy's meme. Is it fresh? Yes, it's fresh, frozen out of the can. Gordon, confused skeleton noise. That's a bit shit, not gonna lie. It very is, isn't it? Now these are just weird. Yeah, for once you can see me in a mask, this never happens, but this is the sea mask here. See that in there, and you can not hear it rattling when I'm on my side, because it isn't moving as much. So I'm going to come back. Uh, I'm going to thread a filter on. So hopefully now, you can maybe hear me a little bit better, but you can still hear the rattling and the vibration. Because it is quite a primitive speech module, speech diaphragm. But it works a charm. Tommy, what do you think of the sea mask? It sounds like fucking shit. Well, it wasn't invented in the 1930s. Let's see you make better. I could make better if I get a Pepsi. I gave you a can of Pepsi, you fat shit. I drank it like I did was supposed to. Right, I'm going to get this off now. I'm going to unhook this. And there we go. So that was the Sea Maske by Fager in Switzerland. These are quite hard to find sometimes. And when they are found, they can be quite pricey. So I'm going to put it back in its torture tin. I think I actually got this for quite a good price, but I'm going to be selling this very soon. That's the whole point of me recording this video, because I'm actually going to be listing it tonight. Um, I love that video. Mm. Wait for it. Can't, Can't suicide bombs him.
slot you back in. Oh yeah, he pushes him off, doesn't he? Jesus Christ! And there we go. So, Kima tin back on our Kima. You can see there where the leather strap would have been, but it's rotted away. So, there we go. That's all three masks we've had to touch upon now. We've got the PTM-1, being quite used and abused down here. <laughs> and we've got the FM-12. What's up? He's nervous frozen, mate. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, he pulls out a gun. He goes, I want to apologise. Yeah. We've all seen the GTA 5 memes, Tommy. Wouldn't you want to apologise? This channel's great, this channel. What the fuck? Did he just kill himself? Right, so there we go. A couple of cool masks. Had a good look at them. I hope you guys enjoyed this return back to meme review. Uh, meme review? Gas mask review. So now I'm going to have the joys of packing all this shit up into my tiny fucking backpack. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope it's been fun going back to this. There you go, you can have... You could do that in oblivion. You do a lot of things in oblivion. You could just push someone off who was going to commit suicide. Yeah. It's in the Shivering Isles, DLC. Anyway, you can have some nice rain. Oh, I love this. I'm trying to record rain air somehow. Alright, I hope that was fun for everyone. Yeet and skeet.